Hey, we're getting ready here. We're about to let these people in here. We're about to let them in, about to let them in. Oh, yeah, we're live. Let's go ahead and get it popping. Good morning, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is, wherever you're at. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I got my people pulling up on me. It's going down right now. How is everyone? Fantastic. Con, con, con quien, con, con quien? Okay, that's the way to be. I see, I see my people in the building. Got in the building. Got Angelique's in the building. In the building. I got, I got my guy Jeff in the building. In the building. It's going down. Let me go ahead and. Let me go ahead and. Because I cannot hear y'all. I hope all is well out there. We got Helen Gaynor in the building. What's going on, Helen? To be here with you guys. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I'm hearing an echo, and it's the strangest thing, but I'm going to fix it. But we'll just go ahead and go straight into it. So my name is Rob Pasker. I am an associate broker of EXP. Hey, wait, wait, let's hold, let's hold up a little bit. You don't want to give some people some time. I know you're excited. Oh. <laughs> you already know, man. Get straight to it. But yeah, we, um, we get straight we're streaming on Facebook, which is amazing. I'm excited to, to oh, be yeah. here. But uh, let's, yeah, let's give it a couple more moments. Oh, if you can. If you want to invite anyone, anyone that's with EXP right now, if you just want to take a quick moment and share the link with someone, they definitely want to hear why this broker decided to do the, 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 the smartest decision in his life and partner up with EXP Realty. So go ahead and listen, let's invite someone that definitely wants to hear about this. Someone that is, there we go. There we go, Vivian. <laughs> <laughs> Facebook, Facebook, what it do? My, uh, my mom is watching. She says she's got her rice cakes <laughs> on Facebook. You should have told us we was gonna be on Facebook. I combed my hair. Well, Angelique, you know, you stay ready. Come on now. <laughs> if you stay ready, you don't have to get have to ready. get ready. That's my motto. And, and it works. It works. I appreciate you all. Vivian, how you doing, Vivian? Look like Vivian's focused. I'm doing awesome. How are you? I'm well. I, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm always focused. Always promote. Always promote. That's it. I mean, right. if, you're not, if you're not focused, what are you doing? I don't know. It's like uh, what Dwayne Johnson says in the gym, focus. Focus. I'm a big proponent of focus. You know, it's, we have power just like the sun has power. You know, I believe that we are all stars, honestly, because when you look at the chemical composition of who we are, when you break it down elementary, molecularly, we have the same elements within us that the sun has itself. So if you take the, the power of the sun, you can give life, you can warm a whole planet. But if you focus that energy, take a magnifying glass, you can start a fire. And so, you know, focus is very important. And we have to fight for our focus. If we want to be anything in life, we want to get somewhere. We got to fight for our focus. So shout out to Shanice Sample. She's in the building. She is another EXP Realty agent that's joining me um, on this journey. So shout out to Shanice. She, uh, she finished. She actually uh, got her information, her, her uh, paperwork into the state today. So let's give it up for Shanice Sample. She's uh, on Facebook watching us. Yes, it's wow. going down. Amazing. 
Yeah, we also have Patricia Ziegler. She's another one that has joined me in, in this decision to come to EXP. Uh, Patricia, she's been with me for going on about three years now. And um, she thinks I make good decisions for the most part. And so she she's following me to EXP and I'm excited for her. She's down in Columbus, Ohio, holding it down for the team. So we got some we got some spread here. Yeah, so we got about 17 people in the Zoom. We got about nine people on the Facebook. If you're watching on Facebook right now, do me a favor, like, share, comment. Let us know you're in the building. Tap that button, help us with that algorithm um, because we got some information here that's that's life-changing um, and it's really gonna put some people in a better position if you know they tune in and, and get acclimated to what's going on. It's a, it's a movement. I'm a firm believer in that. So I think we good to go. Yeah, I'm ready to get into it. I'm ready to get into it. I can't hold back anymore. So, yeah, like I said, I appreciate you all taking the time. The not, time is now 7.05 to come in and hear, you know, why I dissolve my brokerage, Pasca Real Estate, the brokerage that my baby named after me, why I chose to dissolve that in order to pursue the opportunity that EX, EXP Realty presents. And so in order for you to truly understand that, you got to understand, you know, what brought me to the real estate industry first and foremost. Um, I'm an entrepreneur. I was raised as an entrepreneur. My mother was an entrepreneur. I used to be at trade shows with her and her decor and her event planning. I'd be helping her with her events, you know, and she worked. Don't get it twisted. She worked 30 plus years at General Mills. But at the same time, you know, she always had that hustle on the back end. And then my father, he's, a, he's an entrepreneur as well, did things such as Primerica with A.L. Williams, managed different businesses, and he, he always had the mindset of growth. And even my stepfather would tell me, hey, Rob, you need to work with your mind, find a way to make money with your mind. And so, you know, with that upbringing, it was in my blood to be an entrepreneur. And so that's something that I've always been at the forefront with. Started my first official business in college in 2007. Where um, me and uh, me and my homeboys, my partners, we were we would create events on campus that would um, basically create culture, and that was the big thing: bringing people together and creating culture, which evolved into an entertainment production company, Heartland Hip Hop, here down in Columbus, Ohio. So we were doing artist showcases. We had merchandise. We were dropping mixes. If you go deep enough in the vault, you Google me deep enough, you might find some some tracks, some music, some playlists. Um, that I put out back in like 2011, 2012, because for me, um, at the pinnacle, if I can have any impact in the world, I want to have an impact on the culture and the, specifically the culture of our youth. Um, you know, I've worked in schools. I've been, a, I worked, I worked with kids since I was 18, but eventually I got my, my degree. I finished my business administration bachelor's and started substitute teaching. And I realized that the impact I want to have on my, on the children can't be had through schools. And so that's why I went hard into the, the entertainment, the music, hip hop. We got some people that need to mute. I'm on it, I'm on it. Okay, for sure, for sure. Angelique, I'm gonna make you a co-host as well. But whatever the case, that pushed me to a tea company. So I, I, um, I found a tea product, you know, going into a coffee shop that I would go to regularly. It was open 24 hours a day down in Columbus, short North coffee house. I would pull all nighters, but one particular night, a barista asked me if I wanted the matcha because I would get the tea, I get coffee, but this night was tea night. I got the matcha. For those that don't know, matcha is a green tea powder. It's, it, it's literally green tea powder. You're drinking the whole leaf. So you're drinking 20 cups of green tea. And so uh, I met the guy that was actually importing the product into the country, young guy probably like 18 and I asked him if he was making any money or how he was selling it. And he said only on eBay. And so I gave him my car and I worked with him for about two or three months, actually building up his supply chain, teaching him how to build a, a business model through seven and, 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 and push it through seven different sales channels. And eventually I told him I want equity and he stopped talking to me. Okay, so whatever the case, he comes back a few months later, says he's going through some things, he's going to dissolve the company and do that want it. And I said, absolutely, because I saw the opportunity in matcha green tea. And this was back in maybe 2010, 2011. And now, you know, matcha is pretty much everywhere. 
Um, but I had it, I had a booming in Columbus. I would bring in 20 kilos of green tea powder and I would break it down 20 kilos. I would break it down into 30 and 80 gram bags and boom it through seven different sales channels. You know, uh, go matcha go. We, I was selling it through online. I was setting them shop at festivals. I was dropping it off to coffee shops. I had independent distributors that would buy it in bulk and then they go, they would go sell it. Um, and I was hustling, but I was doing everything. I was doing the, the sourcing. I was doing the logistics. I was literally breaking it down in my living room with a scale. I had the heat sealer, boom, pressing the labels. I did my own marketing, okay, posting my own flyers up. But eventually I got tired. I got tired and I said, if I'm going to do this, how I need to do it so that I can create the, um, create the capital to put into my, my, my culture production, I have to scale my business. And, you know, that means automate my supply chain to the point where the product goes straight from the, the plantation to the packaging plant, to the warehouse, to the end client. And all I have to do is focus on is education and marketing. Um, and so in order to raise that capital, I said, what are the best ways that I can raise this money? Okay. I looked at police room auctions, flipping that stuff. I looked at flipping cars, but of course, flipping houses, real estate is where the money is at. And so I started putting together a business in Columbus, Ohio to wholesale, wholesale properties, Pasco properties. And one of my, uh, my homeboys happened to be a realtor. So I go to him to discuss with, him with, uh, <laughs> hold on. We got, we got a mute. Um, so I, I discussed with him, Hey, this is what I want to do. And he said, Rob, you might as well just get your real estate license because for what you're looking to do, you're just scraping the bottom of the barrel in real estate. If you get your license, anyone becomes a potential client. And so by the grace of God, his grandmother was a, was a, a real estate broker. She's a real tist who got her real estate license in 1963. And um, I was able to learn the real estate brokerage game from this particular family in Columbus, Ohio. Shout out to Mary Lane and Ohio Real Estate Agents Network. But I learned the brokerage game and moved to Toledo with the intention of starting a branch of theirs brokerage in Toledo. Um, and, but what I quickly learned was that watching them with the brokerage game, I'm sitting here trying to build a supply chain in tea when I could be building a supply chain in real estate. And with the supply chain in real estate, I'm making more money and I'm impacting more lives and I have more clients because everybody needs a place to lay their head at at night. And so that's what pushed me to, to open up my own brokerage. I ended up moving back to Toledo and I joined a different broker when I moved to Toledo and I fulfilled my broker obligation in two years. My goal was to become a real estate broker before I hit 30 years old. Um, and I did that. I literally passed my broker test the day before my 30th birthday, literally. And I, so that was the goal that I had. And that's, that's what happened back in 2017, February 24th. And um, started Pasco Real Estate in July. And, you know, it's been a journey, but it's been a journey that's been supported by my community. I've helped a lot of people and I've, I've, my, my focus has been helping, helping my community build wealth in a true realtor's way, helping uh, community build wealth, um, hustling, straight up hustling. You know, my first, my first listings in the business was knocking on doors on the north side of Toledo, knocking on Fizbo's north side of Toledo. And that's how I picked up seven listings in my first summer. Um, so it's been a lot of grit, been a lot of hustle. I've helped, helped hundreds of families because, you know, started with just me and I built it up and then I got some agents and then, you know, I learned about being a leader in real estate. And so some agents stayed, some agents did it. And I got more agents and, you know, taught them how to make money while I was in, consistently increasing myself, working on building up my business, my sales business, increasing my price point, um, installing systems in my business. Um, I also do housing counseling. So through, through NARAB, through NID, I'm a certified, certified housing counselor. So I have a home buyer program through which people can come through my home buyer program and get their HUD certificates to get down payment assistance. And so I'm highly systemized, I'm systemized because I'm looking to scale my business. And so um, last year we did good. It was me and I had a few good agents. Patricia Ziegler was one of them. Um, Dominique Allen, she's another one. And, I mean, we really took the top off with the system that we created here in Northwest Ohio, and we've done things that no Black real estate organization has done here. And um, it was great. And then we had that success, and here comes about seven more real, seven more agents that want to be a part of the movement, which is, come on with it. Come on, yeah, let's get it. And so 
Yeah. So they came and I got, got up to about maybe nine, 10 agents, but then I quickly realized it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot, you know, especially when you're bringing on agents, especially if they're new agents, you know, in a lot of cases, I, as a broker, I feel like they're, they're parent in the fact that I'm going to provide the whole environment for them to be successful. I have to cultivate this environment for these people to, to be who they're meant to be within this industry. And so with the training, it became daunting because I mean, I'm a natural trainer. I can talk all day, but I'm responsible for inputting, giving them the information that they need to be successful. I'm responsible for the compliance, making sure that they're doing what they need to do per the state with the, with our local board of realtors. I'm the one. And if somebody doesn't pay their dues, guess who's getting that check? I'm getting that check. Okay. And then you, that's not to even mention the onboarding. When I'm onboarding an agent, there's paperwork that needs to be done. There's mail that needs to go out. There's, it's, it's a lot of, it's just a lot. And so for someone like me, who just wants to truly focus on the education aspect, because my goal is impacting lives. I want to see people elevate. Um, I found myself stressed. I thought I found myself bogged down by the tasks and the responsibilities of being a broker, which I'm, I'm happy to be a broker, but I know my strengths and I know my areas of opportunities. And I could feel that having an impact not only on my life, but even on my mental health. And so being system, system minded, you know, I've been thinking about looking at different business models in real estate for at least the last couple of years. And I've looked at different models. I've looked at bringing a Century 21 to Toledo. I've looked at bringing a Keller Williams to Toledo. I've looked at bringing an ERA, um, Colwell Banker. I've looked at I've looked at different models, interview with these different companies because I, I have that ability to bring that type of pool. Um, but nothing that I've seen brings the opportunities that EXP brings. And I mean, it's just, it's honestly, it's, it's so much, <laughs> it's so much. So for me personally, the big reasons, big reasons for me that I joined EXP, um, for one, the, the edge of the training. I'm a firm believer that knowledge is power and power is the ability to change. And so with EXP, there's training going on all day, every day. And, and not only just with EXP, but the specific group that we are with here at EXP, uh, with Colhane groups and Elena, Elena Cardone and Claudine Hibbert. I mean, the people that we are tapped into, that we are aligned with, it's the best organization within EXP. Because please believe, I learned about EXP a couple of years ago. I didn't choose to join EXP until I saw my guy, Jeff, Jeffrey Corleone, out of Miami, Miami, Florida, whom I met at a NARAB national convention. When I seen, when I saw him join, he was already doing it. But when I saw him join, I seen his whole business just scale. I seen it explode. And I'm like, man, they got some type of juice down there. And I'm like, I'm here in Ohio. I know y'all in Florida, but we need some of that juice up here. I'm just a little bit. So um, I prayed on it. I meditated, meditated on it. And it wasn't easy because for one, I had to tell all of my agents, hey, you know, I'm, I'm pivoting in my business and, you know, this is going to have, have an impact on you. And you got to make the decision as to what's best for you. Some decided to stay, some decided to go. But hey, guess what? This rocket ship is taking off regardless. We going up, you know, because that's all I do is elevate and we're going up. And um, the technology is another big piece now. So for my independent brokerage, and they will be back, Jeff. <laughs> they will be back. <laughs> it's a matter of time. But the technology piece, the technology piece, as an independent broker, I have to provide, I foot the bill for their websites. I foot the bill for their CRMs. Um, and guess what? I wasn't footing the bill because I'm like, I, I know I'm going to use it, but if you're not going to use it, I'm not about to pay for it. You know. And so with eXp, every agent that joins eXp is going to get their CRM. They're going to get their, their website. Now it's up to them to use the tools that are available, but you can't beat that. And at the cost that EXP provides it, you can't beat it. And then also another big piece, the revenue share. Now as a broker, as an independent, and let's be honest, an independent black real estate, millennial real estate broker in Northwest Ohio, there's only going to be a, a, a very small segment of the real estate population that's going to join my brokerage. And that it is what it is, but with EXP, it now opens the door for me to build relationships with different demographics within the industry to help them build their businesses 
and, and take their businesses to a whole nother level. So you got the revenue share, you got the stock options, you know, the stock shares, um, you know, you can elect to take 5% of your commission and put that towards EXP stock at a 10% discount. So that between those two, between the revenue share and between the, the stocks, that's a tangible retirement plan that even me by myself as an independent broker, I couldn't, I couldn't create. That's a, that's a big deal. So it's a lot, you know, I can go on and on and on and I will go on and on and on, but I want to, I want to go ahead and bring up someone that I look up to someone that's a trailblazer, a, a true star in the game. Um, I met Claudian Hibbert Smith at Miami at NARAB's national convention. And she, at that point, she was the president of the South Florida uh, Realtors Association of South Florida Realtors board down there. And I mean, I could, I just felt her from the, from the jump we met, I felt her, you know? And so we, of course, we're going to connect and we connected and I followed her along social media, just seeing her success, seeing her progression and the same thing. I seen when she joined EXP and then you start to look at the move she started to make. You start to see the success that she had. You start to see the people that was that helped that she was helping, the people that was joining her, and you could just see the progression and the elevation, and, and it's things like that is what inspire me. And beyond that, Claudine is now an icon agent within EXP, which is, I mean, she's achieved certain, she's um, reached certain achievements in EXP with which has unlocked equity opportunities for her, and she also pours in to the people within EXP and teaches what she knows, you know, and that's one thing about EXP. We, there's collaboration, there's no competition. Like, yo, I'm gonna help you. You come with me, I'm gonna help you. We could be in the same market, but I'm gonna help you build your business in EXP because for one, I wanna see you win. And for two, when you win, I win. And so with that being said, let me go ahead and bring up Claudine Hibbert because she got some heat for the people here. Go ahead, Claudine. Woohoo! Let me get the spotlight out of here. There we go. Where's she, where she at? Claudine, where you at? Claudine, Claudine. I'm right here. There she go. <laughs> there go. All right, there. I was just talking. I don't know if I was muted. I don't know if you heard me, but I'm going to start over. Listen, uh, thanks, Rob, for bringing me on here and th thanks for aligning with us. I knew it took a lot for you to. It, you know, not really leave your brokerage. I don't want to say leave the brokerage. I want to say enhance the brokerage because I believe with this model, you're going to be able to create so much more success. And I can only tell you from example, I, I've been a real estate agent, guys. <clears throat> Let me back up a little bit because I also want to pay some respects to Jeff Coriolan, who literally, guys, wow, this is crazy. Uh, he was supposed to come with me 11 months, in, well, I've been with EXP now for almost a year, but he was supposed to come with me and he did not. He did not believe it was the right time. And every time I would end my conversation, I'd say, okay, we could be talking about the sky is blue. I would end, and I wouldn't say goodbye, I'd say, so when you're coming over? And that was my tagline for him. And so, you know, you'll hear me say it took 80 tries. And I say that because that same system applies, guys. Even in our field, getting listings, working with buyers, you know, when are you coming over? When are you coming over? You know, it's that follow up. So I don't want to dwell on that, but I definitely want to say thank you, Jeff, for staying in touch with Rob. I couldn't get the job done. He came in and just clobbered it. And thanks, Rob, for being open enough to even hear the opportunity. And I'm glad that each and every one of you are on here tonight to hear about the opportunity. I won't be long. I promise you. Oh man, this is good. I, I wonder if I could record this. This was good. It was getting good. Oh, All right. So, so I want to say this. My name is Claudia Hibbert Smith. Uh, I had my son at the age of 14 years old. Thanks. Uh, I had my son at 14 years old. You know, I had to hear people wouldn't, you, you know, I wasn't going to make it. You know, I would be having four and five kids. By the time I reached 11th, 12th grade, in fact, I probably wouldn't even graduate. That's what they used to tell me. But I thank God that I used to listen to my own self. And because I said, you know what, I'm not going to just graduate. I'm going to graduate at the top of my class. I'm going to be the, my class president. 
vice president. I went on to the University of Florida. If you're not familiar, it is one of our Ivy League schools here in Florida, Go Gators. And not only did I go to, to University of Florida, but I ended up graduating again with at the top of my class with honors. And so here I am, I become a realtor. Well, first let me back up. I, because I get a job. I like to call it just over broke. Somebody type that in the comments, just, just over, over broke. broke. And let me just say this. Let me say this. I knew I would be successful. I just didn't know how. I didn't know what means. If you look in some business and just Google my name in there, I got about 15 businesses, okay? I've been creating businesses like my friend Rob here. I didn't even know that for many, many years. And so I just quit my job, guys. I, I saw some commissions of a good friend of mine. And I said, wait a minute, you just bought a house, okay? You just bought a house and the lady made $45,000. All we did was walk in and we picked the model and the lot. I said, something's not right. I can add. I know I can add very well, but I go to work from eight to five every day. And sometimes I got to work late and I make a whole $40,000 in a whole year. Just, just right in the box. Something was not adding right. One and one was not equaling two. And so I called my, my, I called my, my job and I said, listen, I'm not coming back. I had no job etiquette at the time. Sorry, I wouldn't advise anybody to do that. I didn't give a two week notice. I literally didn't show up. I did not know how to get my real estate license. I knew that I knew how to go to school. I knew how to learn. And I knew I could do whatever they were going to tell me that I had to do to get my license. Well, I become a, a realtor a week later. I take the class. I failed the class two times. Yes, I failed the class, it, it, the, the state exam twice. And I finally got my license and I became the rookie of the year at the Kai's company, which was my old brokerage. Now, here's the punchline. I've been with the Kai's company for 20 whole years and they were a good company. OK, I went to the first company that came for me. I said, if they're coming for me, they want me. I'm going there. And I know that I was instrumental at that company. But then I was ready to go from good to great. 20 years came and I found myself talking to Jeff, talking to Angelique saying, you know, I want to get into retirement mode. And it wasn't that I was ready to retire. I was 40 years old. I was, I needed more energy. Somebody just write the word energy in the chat box. Write the word energy in the chat box. I want you to write energy in the chat box. And that's exactly what I got. I, my good friend now, Elena Cardone, must have put a target right here on my back. They invite me to be on Grant Cardone's real estate seminar. And I'm thinking, wait a minute. And this had nothing to do with EXP. They had just gotten into EXP. Um, and I just wasn't even looking at it. Like Rob, I'd heard about it two years ago, but the time wasn't right or the right people weren't coming for me. And I got on that show and I said, you know what? Let me go back and look at EXP and see what they have to offer. Let me go back and see what they have to offer because what's getting ready to happen is something big. And I'll show you just here. Are y'all ready to see why I chose and why we chose EXP? Are you guys ready to hear what is going on? All right. So I, I think I can share my screen. I, you got to make me a co-host. I got you. Thank you. All right, here we go. You know what? I'm going to start here since this is the screen that pulled up first. I'm going to start right here since this is the screen, but let me just do one thing really quickly before I do that. All right, cool. All right, so I got both up. I'm excited about that. So let me just share with you. I'm going to start with the rev share calculator since that's where my screen landed me first. Do you guys see what says the rev share calculator? I want to get y'all excited right now. I want to get y'all excited right now. Because this was one of the reasons why I literally in 30 minutes, I was with, I want you to make sure you hear this clearly. I was with one brokerage for 20 whole years. Top producer, top 10 out of 4,000 agents. This was no little, little task, okay? My team and I, we did wonders. All right, so if, if, if just give me someone that is not with EXP, just unmute yourselves or raise your hand. I wanna bring you up and just ask you a few questions. Average sales price. What's our average sales price in the US? Somebody, you can type it in the box. You can unmute yourself.
Come on, Jeff. I think you're already unmuted. Well, give me what your average sales price you think is in the United States of America. You want to go with 350? Let's go I with 350. 350. That's about the average, somewhere in there. Okay. What do you believe the average income? Oh no, the average unit sold per agent per year. Not my numbers. Not your numbers. No. We got we got we got some responses in the room. I see five to seven. You want to go with six in the middle? Let's go with six. Let's go with the what do you believe the average commission is right now? Not our average, Jeff. I would say like two and a half percent. I've been seeing some crazy stuff. Okay, two and a half percent. I'd like to say three, but we'll go with two and a half. Now, Jeff, you've been in the company for how long? Maybe three months now? Um, we're going on month number four. Yes, four months. Month number four. How many agents do you believe you put, put it bring in? Let's not use your numbers first. How many people you think the average realtor can just maybe invite realtors and brokers to a call like this? How many people you think will join you in the first year? I don't know, but I would say maybe 12 or is that- Let's go with 12. We'll use your real numbers second round. All right. I I need y'all to focus for a second because now he invited 12 people. Let's assume that all 12 signed up. They want to become a part of EXP. Those 12 people are not powerhouses like Jeff, okay? They only bring in two people each, right? Those two people bring in three. These three people bring in two, just very low numbers, very conservative, right? 12 is not conservative, but the rest of these numbers are pretty conservative, okay? Watch what happens, guys. This is one of the rep. This is, there are four buckets that I'm going to talk about. This is one of them. It's called the rev share bucket. It is called the rev share bucket because, Rob, if you could unmute yourself for a second. Yep. Okay. Let me ask you a question. When agents joined your brokerage, let's just say Jeff joined your brokerage and then Jeff brought in five people. Did Jeff get paid on those people that that, that he brought in? Nope, I've had agents bring people to my brokerage and they didn't get paid. Right, right. and guess what? It's not because Rob's mean. It's not because, it's because he maybe he didn't have that infrastructure. Well, at EXP, we have the infrastructure. So what happens, guys, is that every time you invite someone to the business, this is not a necessity. We have realtors that want to just do rev share. We have people that just want to max out, get their 16K. And I'm going to talk about that and get their 100% commission. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. But if you want to be impactful and create wealth, I'm I'm just gonna calculate. So Jeff right now, based on the numbers, only seven deals a year is gonna be making over a million dollars. But watch this. When I came in, even when Jeff came in. Only made seven deals a year and he made over a million dollars. Yeah, you, I, I like whoever that is, Mute yourself, but I love how you repeated that. I know that you are paying attention, okay? <laughs> All right, thank you for that. So watch this. I brought in 33 agents in my first 30 days and Jeff duplicated that. Jeff is on my second level because I brought him in. I- I'm not even gonna put 33 there. I- I'm just gonna keep everything else the same. With, let me just back up. A- a- average deal, 350. Six units sold, two and a half percent commission. I am now in a position based on these numbers, which my numbers are a lot higher, guys. I'm looking at six million dollars in income, and I haven't even talked about me selling a property yet. Does that make sense? Yes or yes. Just drop a yes or yes in the in the chat box. It could only make sense. It could only make sense. Claudine, okay. quick question. Because you know, I'm here in Toledo. Toledo is one of the cheapest markets in America, literally. On a scale from you know one to a hundred and, and or one in forty three, we're like thirty five. Okay. Could you do an average sales price of one fifty? Let's do an average sales price of one fifty. I want you. I'm glad he asked me that, but I do want to say this because we re- realize, guys, we live in Florida. Rob is in Ohio. You zero, can bro. attract if you could just go ahead, Jeff. Add a zero. 
Sorry. If you, you can attract anywhere in the world. I mean, I'm getting ready to start all the way in the DR and that's why we use the average, but watch what happens here. Let me ask you, Rob, would you mind another 3 million a year and you didn't even sell? We're not talking about commissions yet. Absolutely, and 100%, I would, I would take that and I would be very grateful, I would thank God. And it would only grow because what do you think is gonna happen, guys? Just like Rob saw me, just like Rob saw Jeff, people are going to see him from all over the world and he's going to attract more people. So although these numbers are based on 150 right now, I want to encourage you to use the national average, which is about 350. Now, I'm going to just move a little bit from this, this screen really quickly. Let me stop share. Let me go back and share. I want to show you some of the other benefits of EXP. And Rob had already started to talk uh, a little bit about. Guys, can you see, just in case you can't, let me share again. Sometimes the system does funky things. All right, there we go. Can you guys see that EXP Realty? Okay. See it. All right, great. So watch what happens, guys. It's 43 pages. Do y'all mind if I just go over like the, the most important four pages? Drop a number one if I can just go over the four, four pages. And then we're going to wrap this up. Make sure we don't have... All right, good, 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 good. Y'all are like me. Y'all just want to... <laughs> Y'all just want the good stuff. All right, good. So watch this. I, I, I shared a panel with this guy here before I came over to EXP. I had no idea I was coming to EXP at the time. Glenn Sanford is the owner of this company. And like myself, uh, well, not like myself, but like himself and a lot of other KW agents, he worked for KW for many, many years who also have a rev share component, but he was growing this huge team but his rev share was just like going little by little by little. And what happens is he said, something is not right. This is just, these numbers aren't working. And so he left KW, went and opened his own brokerage, market crashed, his office crashed, and he didn't give up. I want you to write in the, in the chat box, don't give up. Don't give in, don't give up. He created EXP Realty. And I can tell you this, and this is factual. We have created many, many millionaire people bought stocks at pennies, guys. I need you to understand this. And became instant millionaires during the pandemic because we still needed a way to show houses. We still needed a way to be in the virtual space. We're in a space where people are trying to catch up to the meta metaverse. We're already there. We are already there. And so this is Mr. Glenn Sanford. Love him, met him, great guy. Okay, you know that we're a publicly traded company. I, I love this screen right here. I, I can only remember back when I was at the University of Florida where when oh, even when I came out and I used to go to Blockbuster and hurry up and, and within 48 hours turn the movie back in because I didn't want to pay the late fee. How many people? I just never knew Blockbuster would go out of business. And I'll be honest with you, I did not start using Amazon until the pandemic. Guys, y'all realize Amazon had been around for many, many moons. I did not start using Amazon until I was forced. And now I order my groceries through Amazon. I ordered some stuff today, a battery fan for my kids in the strollers today. And I love it. And the same thing is going on with EXP. Traditional brokerages are coming over. So all I can do is tell you, all I can say is just don't miss the boat. Okay? Don't miss the wave. Um, I, I, Rob talked about one of the CRNs we have. I've used K, KV Core for about eight years now. So I've been using KV Core outside of EXP. And I can tell you it's lead generating. You can do drip marketing campaigns in there. It is your database of the last at least 10 years, top five. And so you get that here with EXP. Also, we have SkySlope that helps 
monitor your files, making sure you're 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 in um, compliance. Make sure your forms are there. Make sure they're accurate. Make sure the MLS is there. And I love it because EXP is on the other side handling those things for you. So no more of you trying to do everything alone. And I know y'all been waiting for this. I'm going to switch screens for a second because I've always wanted to be a school teacher. Always wanted to be a school teacher. And I want y'all to just see that it's $149 to join EXP. Can, can y'all afford the $149? Just drop a number one if you can afford $149 right now to get into EXP. Excellent. I'm not even going to look at the chat box because I know we got some great people here and I already know what the deal is, okay? Y'all are already pumped like, where do I go? We're going to get there in a minute. All right. And so the other thing is, guys, is the commission splits. Let's talk about the commission splits for, for a second. The commission splits are 80-20, okay? Until you cap at 16000 I like to come here because honestly, I didn't know what a cap was. I came out the gate doing very well and they just always left my commission at a high split. I never had to cap at my old company, although they did have the cap. So what, what happens is that let's just say commission number one is $20,000. 80% goes to you, which is $16,000. 20% goes to EXP, which is $4,000. Let's say commission number two is $10,000. 80% goes to who, guys? You. That's $8,000. 20% goes to EXP, right? That's $2,000. Guys, when this EXP, well, let me ask this question. How much money have we paid into EXP so far? Just put it in the chat box real quick. Six K, sixteen K. Okay, sixteen K. I know you left off the one, Jeff. I got it. So we've paid. No, it is six thousand. How much money have I paid into Sonia? You throwing me off? I can't. <laughs> How much money have we paid into? This is very important, guys. How much money have we paid into EXP? Six thousand dollars. Okay. When that $6,000 turned into $16,000, it's called you capped. I did it in about three or four months, and now you get 100% commission. Does that make sense? All right, cool. So watch what happens here, guys. Okay, there's an $85 fee. It's a brokerage fee for all of your systems. Just Google how much it costs to get a KB4 system. You're going to be spending quite a bit of money, at least $500, okay? Let's talk about the transaction review fee. It never goes anywhere. That's if you transact, if you close a deal, you pay $25. And then we have what's called the risk management fee. It is simply your error and omissions. Once you pay $500 of that, you no longer get charged the $40 risk management fee in your year. Got it? All right, guys, I'm going to skip the rev share because the rev share is what the calculator looked like, okay? What I showed you in the calculator is exactly this revenue share screen here. So I'm going to go ahead and skip that. Also, I'm going to skip this one. I'm going to skip that one. But I don't want to skip this one. It's, it's equity opportunities. And you heard many of you guys say Claudia is now an icon agent. For my Instagram users and my Zoom users, see, y'all was asleep. Y'all thought I wasn't going to be on IG today. All right, we're going to be on every platform talking about the greatness of EXP. So let's talk about the opportunities in stock. It allows you the opportunity to own stock in EXP, which makes you an owner, believe it or not. Every time you close a deal, the first time you close a deal every year, your first deal of the year, you'll get $200 worth of stock, okay? I brought Jeff in. Well, when Jeff does his first transaction, one time only, that's a $400 revenue in stock. That's pay number, that's the way number two. So watch what happens here. I gotta go back to my whiteboard here, okay? What happens here, okay, let me see something draw. I'm gonna draw. 
All right, hold on, let me. All right, cool. So what happens is guys, when you pay $16,000 into the company dollars, which we call cap and do an additional 20, 20 deals, which is equal to about $5,000 in fees, right? And, and, and 250, 250, 250, 250 fees. Once you cap at 100%, you pay now 250 per deal. Well, guess what happens? I capped and I did an additional 20 deals after I capped. Well, guess what? The company says, congratulations, Claudia. And you have now become an icon agent. Because of you becoming an icon agent, we're going to award you $16,000 in stock. Jeff, I know you look at the stock almost every other day. If you could just do me some quick calculations and tell me how many shares I got today from being an icon agent, I'd be just chop it in a chat box. Guys, what happens with stock? It goes up and it goes down. I'm gonna tell you something. Now is a great time because the stock is down. But I assure you, when the market turn, takes its turn, see, I've already experienced this before. When the market takes its turn, we're going up. And when we go up this time, it is no turning back. I'm going up. I'm not gonna do it to y'all. <laughs> I'm not going to do it to y'all. All right. So let me just make sure. I, let's talk about healthcare for a second. Let's talk about the healthcare option, which is another bucket that I like to talk about. You know, my dear friend, Lisa, Lisa uh, uh, had a, a neck injury and she had healthcare through EXP. And she believes that if she did not have this healthcare, which by the way, is a 60% discount, then your average insurance is out there, okay? Thanks, EXP, okay? She was able to care herself back to great health, guys. And Lisa's now killing it. She owned the number one fiat, not in America, in the world, okay? And then she came over to EXP. And so I, I just wanted to talk about those few benefits. That's pretty much it, guys. I don't want to spend any more time talking to you about all the wonderful benefits of our company, but I just talked about going 100% commission, being able to become an icon agent or, 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 or gain some stocks into the company. Guys, that is a big, big deal. Okay. We talked about healthcare and we also talked about, oh, I didn't talk about that. We have over 80 hours of live training. Okay. The teams, they say don't matter, I believe do. Our upline is incredible. We have Tarek El Musa in our upline. Brian Colhane, the co-founder of EXP, as my good friend and upline. Elena Cardone, Grant Cardone, who also contributes about 30 hours of training. I don't know if y'all have ever been on a card on you, but if you haven't, you've been a little sleep. But guess what? They come here and train for free. If you are in that training and you have not elevated that means that you are not totally in alignment. So that's, I mean, think about 80 hours of training. And for those of you that don't like to work virtually, and I, I have to show you this, I'm really at home. It's just in my background. And that's my other background, the lake <laughs> and the pool. I got one background and I got two backgrounds. You see that? And, and so I just got to show you that. But for some of you guys that don't like to work virtually, guess what? We have, okay, we have, offices through regions that you can utilize for free it doesn't get any better than that it truthfully does not get any better than that and so listen i want to throw it back over to i want to throw it back over to rob listen if you've liked anything that you've heard how many of you guys are ready to make a decision today how many people are ready to make a decision today just drop a number one in the chat box have you heard enough to make a decision? Have you heard enough to make a decision? Listen, always go back to the person who invited you here this evening. We would love to onboard you. I want to, at this time, throw it back to Rob Pasker and he have us close us out. Absolutely, Claudianne. I mean, that's your story for one. Your story is powerful, but just to see what you, let me get the spotlight. Let me get the spotlight back. Here we go. But yeah, no, just your story alone is powerful, but to see the success that you've had since you, you had success before, but it looks like the alignment that took place when you joined EXP helped you get to a whole nother level. 
Um, I mean, I mean, if the fruit speaks for itself and we just talked about the different ways that EXP is, are, is different from the other brokerages out there. So like I said, for me, it was a no brainer. It wasn't a no brainer, <laughs> but it was the best decision that I made. It was hard, but it was the best decision that I made. And uh, I'm so excited to take it to another level. You know, I'm grateful for the, the partnerships that I have um, created by joining EXP. And I'm, I'm excited to what's going to happen in the future. You know, I'm grateful for my the agents that have joined me to make this transition. Patricia, Shanice, uh, I got Ryan Martin, Quinn Peterson. I got a group, group of people that are joining me, you know, and we're coming and we're going to take it to another level. So if you're interested, you have any questions, go ahead, hit the link in my bio. Hit the link in the chat. Hit me, go ahead and put it in the chat, but hit the link in the bio, hit the link in the chat, and let's let's talk about it. Let's talk about it because we're going up. This elevation, and we and it's a whole movement, and it's one of those things. Don't miss this jet. Don't miss the movement because this time next year, life is gonna look totally different for me and mine. And so I will hope the same for you all as well. So with that being said, I appreciate y'all. This has been great. This has been great. Love the Zoom. Love everybody that's on Facebook. Been commenting and engaged. This is awesome. And we're going to have to do it again. In fact, we're going to do it again next Monday. We're going to do it again next Monday. It's going down. So be here. I was going to say be there. I'll be square. But we're here. So <laughs> it is what it is. But, you know, what I'm going to do is keep bringing these heavy hitters from EXP and, and letting you all know, you know, the success that's being had and also giving you some game so you can apply it to your life and take it to another level because that's what it's about. It's about the reflections. When we, when we put great people in front of us and we hear them speak, what it does is it provides a reflection where we're able to see parts of ourselves that we may not have seen before. And that's where growth takes place. So that's, that's what this is about for me, the reflection, the collaboration and the elevation. And with that being said, get with me, get with me, holler at me, hit the link in the bio. You know where to find me. All right. So I appreciate you all and have a good night. Thank you, Jeffrey. Thank you, Claudianne. Thank you, Angelique. I appreciate y'all. Realtors in the building. We get it in. For sure. All right now.